All right, so in this one, I'm going to teach you what's called a dashboard. So up to this point, you know, you've learned how to do your chart. You've learned how to do um, basic graphics. Now I'm going to teach you how to put them together to tell a little bit of a story, you know, without getting in too deep. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clear out a lot of these sheets, right? And actually before that, we're going to save it. So to save it, we just go file, save as, I should save it somewhere. I'm going to put in my downloads as Udemy training, right? And the file type is TWB, Tableau Workbook. Go save, right? And that's saved. And what we're also going to do is we're going to delete all these sheets that uh, we don't need anymore, right? We're going to do some fresh stuff. So I'm just going to right click and delete, right click, delete, delete, all right? Just one by one. Let's just clear this out so we don't have to worry about it. Delete delete and the thing is you can't delete the last one because you need to have at least one sheet so what you do is you create a new sheet that's empty and delete the other one all right so now we have a sheet and what I want to do is kind of show a few different facets of information okay so let's do the first one I want to do again the simple category um, I want it this way yeah category let's do it like that um, actually let's do category at the top let's bring sales in right and also want to see profit okay right and it puts it next to it now I actually yeah I'm happy with that and I just want to color these differently so I'm gonna go here to this tile let's make sales green okay and profit I have profit and happy with blue and let's leave it at that so let's call this to change the title, you just double click sales and profits. Okay. Then in the next one, what I want to do is I'm going to create another sheet. I don't want category. I want subcategory and you'll see very soon why I'm doing this. So subcategory. And again, I want to see sales, right? And I want to see profit. Okay. So I want to see both things. That's interesting. Right, and this time I want to color them by value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go sales, and I'm going to get sales here and put it on color. Then on this profit one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab profit and put it on uh, color. Okay, and I want to change these two colors. So sales, I want to double click on this. Let's make this. What did we do in the previous one? Green, and this one is blue. Okay. Let's go, let's just check that. Yep, green and blue. What else? Oh, let's put some labels in there. So I'm actually just going to duplicate this, use control on my keyboard. All right. And I'm going to do the same one here. And I want to order these, uh, the profit highest to lowest. Okay, so I just use that button right there. And I want pro the one with the least profit at the top, because I want that to be the, th the thing we fix, right? So there's that. So let's now call this sales and profit sub cat right this is sales and profit cat right and then the next thing is let's see by region so I'm gonna grab region and drop it here on the top right I'm gonna grab sales and profit again sales and profit okay but this time I'm gonna do something a little bit different let's say can I dual access this no, that's not what I want. I want them next to each other, um, but I haven't taught you that yet. Okay, so we're just gonna ignore that. So again, we're gonna color this. And actually, let's add some countries here. So I'm gonna add country to here, right? So we have a lot more countries. And let's add some coloring. So let's go sales. I'm gonna duplicate this to color. Sum of profit, let's add this to this one. Right, and I want to change this one again to green. Go OK. All right, and let's call this region sales and profit. Okay, so now I have three different data sets, but I want it to combine into a dashboard. And the whole idea of a dashboard is you can interact with your data. Um, for me, in the companies I've worked with, a lot of the times before uh, when I joined the company, a lot of it's still kind of paper based. You have to print it out. Once you print out a dashboard, or it's like an Excel, uh, like 
Excel is not the best for dashboard, but let's say it's a PDF. Whatever results you get, that's all you get. With Tableau, you can interact and dig and play and touch your data. It's a lot different, right? So what we're going to do is now create a dashboard. It's really easy to put a dashboard together in Tableau, right? And you want to use this middle button right here. Okay, so go ahead and click that. And you'll notice that the menu has changed a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce this size just a little bit by going size. Let's reduce this just so it fits on my screen. All right, let's drop the height a little bit. Okay, so that's my region of space now, right? That's my dashboard. And what I'm going to do is on the left, you see the sheets that you've made, right? And we're going to start by putting region, uh, let's put it here, right? Drop it. And what it's going to naturally do is just fill out the whole thing, okay? Um, then I want it to be like, I want it to kind of look like this region. Then I'm going to have category and then subcategory, something like that. Okay, so region. Then I'm going to get this one right here. And the way it works is they're like tiles, right? So you put it there. And then I want to grab the subcategory and I want to put it here at the bottom. Okay, that's pretty much it. And then these things, I, I don't want them. So I'm just going to close these, right? Because the colors are kind of somewhat self explanatory. Yeah, I got the values like that. Now let's minimize this, right? And let's make this a little bit wider. Okay. And let's even make it a little bit higher like that, right? And so now I have a dashboard, right? But this is just part kind of A of a dashboard. There's a few other parts we're gonna do. The next one we have to add is filters, right? There's two kind of main filters that you can use. So because for example, let's say I'm preparing this dashboard for three regions, central, north, and south, right? South doesn't care what north is making. They just wanna see their own stuff, right? So it needs to cater for them, but I don't wanna create a whole nother dashboard. So what I can do is I can use this function right here, right? Which means if I click this button it will filter the rest based on whatever's in here so for example if i go italy and i select this one for example it will show me the sales and profit in the other graphics for just italy okay so let me go ahead and show you that if i click use this filter right and i click on italy these values now upgrade so this actually shows me the sales and profit in Italy, right? And I can click on, let's say, Spain, right? I can see Spain as well. I can look at these lower ones. What's going on in Portugal? Portugal is losing a lot of money in appliances, right? Very, very bad profit. Um, I can also see, let's see, what's this big one? Okay, why is France so successful? So let's click France, right? So France is pretty much profitable in every single area, right? Except for tables. So now this is the thing I would be discussing with France. Okay. Now the thing is you can have multiple of these filters to keep drilling down. So let's say I do this one as well, right? Here's how it's going to work. Or let's do all three and I'll show you how this works. So if I go in here, right? And I go, I want to know why France is so successful. So we click on France, right? So now these are both filtered with France, okay? Then in here, I want to go, well, what's their highest profit, okay? Office supplies. So click on office supplies. So now that's going to filter this one as well. So now it's got two filters, the, sub, uh, the category of office supplies and France, okay? So now in here, I can see, well, where are they making the most money? Storage, appliance, and art. In this one, I'd be interested to see what exactly are they doing that other countries aren't, okay? Then I can start my conversations. So that's like the first way you can do filtering, right? And it's this is really great because it's like one button and you're kind of good to go, all right? So let's deselect this, deselect that, deselect this so that we're back to kind of where we are, right? The next thing I'm going to show you is kind of like your applied filters. And here's how you do it. Let's say I'm in region sales and profit and I want to create a filter for the regions. I go analysis, I go filters, and I go region. Now the filters you can add are only the ones that the, you've used, right? Otherwise it's not really gonna do anything. So if I go region, it's gonna create this for me. And if I deselect central, 
it actually gets rid of central, right? If I get rid of north, it only shows me south. Now the problem with this is it's only applying it to one. I want it to apply to everything. So what I do is I click on this triangle, I go apply to worksheets, selected worksheets, right? And I can select the other two. Okay, so that now if I get rid of south, it gets rid of south in all of them or gets rid of north in all of them. Or if I just want to see south, it shows me just south, okay? And you can have as many filters as you want. So let's say I go analysis filters. I also want to add, um, let's say sum of sales. I want to add uh, country, okay? And you can do different types of filters, right? So in this one, especially when you have a lot to choose from, it kind of gets annoying that it has to refresh every time. So what you can do is you can right click, right? Or you can click this triangle. Go customize and go show apply button. And what happens is, is you make your selection first, then you press apply. Okay, so it's a little bit better on the processing of your computer. Um, the other thing is you can have these sliders. When you have measures, right, or values, you can say, you know, I just want anything that's less than two hundred thousand, for example, in sales. So I can use this to go two hundred thousand, right, and it shows me just that. Again, I can apply this to multiple worksheets. Right. And this shows me that nothing was actually below 200,000 in the sales and profit in that particular way it's been laid out. Okay. So let's just get rid of this filter. Okay. Oops. Yeah. I've done something there. Let's just undo. All right. Let's get rid of that. Um, the other thing is, let's say I only want people to view one region at a time. I can go right click and go single value list. And now it's radio buttons. Right. Which is, again, a lot better on the processing. Right, um, I can do a single value drop down. I can do single value slider, so it goes from one to the next, right? Which I don't, I rarely use that one. I can do multiple values, which is the default. I can go multiple values drop down, which is I kind of like and I kind of don't like, right? Uh, for reasons which I won't get into. Um, you can do custom list where you can look it up. So you can go south. This is really good if like you want to build like a miniature search engine. That's really cool, right? And that's basically the filtering on the dashboard. But what if you wanted to predefine your filters, right? So let's say I'm in here, okay? And you'll notice that through that process of creating filters, it will automatically just start building filters, right? And I'm going to get rid of this for a second. All right, clear it out because this is usually how you start. And let's say I have, actually not this one. Yeah, this is a good example, right? So let's clear out these filters. Let's say I wanted to show this data, but I'm really not interested in labels, envelopes, and paper because let's say that's a whole different division, right? I can grab subcategory, drop it into filters, okay? And I actually remove these at this point. So whatever, labels, I can't remember what it was, right? I can go, okay, and that will apply the filter here, right? So if I ever want to change it, I can right click edit filter or I can double click. Okay. Again, I can select or deselect whatever I need. Right. And it'll keep updating. So those are the two um, filtering, uh, two ways you can filter. There are a lot of things you can do with filter. Um, this is kind of just to kind of get you started. So um, there is still a lot more. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.